Hey, Fozzie, are you ready to bust another wine myth or two? There are things going on in the wine industry about natural, organic, and biodynamic wines. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at what is real and what is smoke and mirrors. full of all sorts of myths and false facts. As time goes by, we're gradually learning the facts from the fiction, but still, there are some myths and misinformation floating around out there. I have a whole series of videos that bust some of these wine myths. Be sure you check out the full playlist. This episode is going to be short and sweet. We're going to explore whether it's true when people say natural, organic, and biodynamic wines are all the same. <laughs> By the end of this video, you'll be able to hold your own at your next weekend party or wine tasting. As we dive into today's myth, remember, if you want to be certified as an Asti Wine Consultant's official wine mythbuster, let me know by clicking in the link uh, in the description. We'll follow up with you and uh, help you begin your journey. Keep in mind also, at any time, if you like what you hear, click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there's a new post. Also. Remember, the subscription is free. And also on the other note, uh, make sure that you share this with your friends uh, to dispel some of these other wine myths. Okay, the myth is natural wines, organic wines, and biodynamic wines are all the same. There's this whole thing going on in the industry right now about natural wines. The essence of it is that wine producers introduce as few additives to the wine as possible. Ideally, in the vineyard, there are a few or no synthetic pesticides or chemicals introduced to the vines or grapes. Now, while you may be interested in consuming wines with fewer or no chemicals, the reality is, as of this filming, there is no universal criteria for the use of the term natural when it comes to wines. Now, because of this, anyone can say their wines are natural. So here's the, my recommendation. Don't just buy any wine because it says natural. A good way to, or, or a clue to find out whether or not, or not wine is natural is just to check the sulfite content as it's indicated on the bottle. As you see here, most wines will just say contains sulfite. But a few producers will say something like a very low sulfur dioxide content. And some will even display the number of milligrams on the bottle. Let's say 20 milligrams. Now that's pretty low while a typical dry white wine will have around 100 milligrams and a typical dry red wine will have around 50 to 75 milligrams. Now keep in mind while checking for the sulfide content of your wine, sulfides are a very natural preservative for foods and beverages. They've been used for centuries. Now back in the day, the Romans used them and today, virtually all of our fruit juices and every dried fruit you eat either has sulfides natural to them or have a small amount of sulfides added to them to keep them fresh. In fact, sulfites are a natural result of aging of vegetables and fruits and the fermentation process found in wine. It's virtually impossible to have no sulfites in your food. Nowadays, you find producers, typically those bottling less expensive wines, being a little deceptive when they put on their labels, no sulfites added. Many of us who don't know better think that means there's no sulfites in the wine. It doesn't mean that at all. It means that there are sulfites in the wine, but the producer did not add any additional sulfites. So when it comes right down to it, all wines have sulfites. They'll have natural occurring sulfites and some have added sulfites to a varying degree. Folks, I hope this is helpful uh, as you shop for wine. Just be wary of what the producers tell you when it comes to a, a term like natural, which has no universal standard or definition. Okay, now let's talk about organic wines. This one is pretty straightforward. A good definition for organic wine, uh, much like uh, other organic foods, is when the farmer has discontinued the use of chemicals to protect and grow their grapes. Instead, they're using methods similar to those used decades ago or even centuries ago. 
fertilizers and pesticides of organic or biologic origin are used rather than synthetic genetically modified organisms and uh, growth hormones. Additionally, there's typically a sensitivity to environmental impact including the effect on natural resources as well as on animal life and the welfare in the surrounding area. How are you doing there? Are you learning something? If so, write ASTI in the comments below. Now the other area is the biodynamic category. This has much more demanding regulations than even organic. Growing and harvesting is all done in harmony and in sync with the, the cosmic calendar. This results in some pretty good wines. Bi biodynamically grown vines look different. They look healthier and the soils are definitely healthier. Typically, the taste of both organic and biodynamic wines will range from somewhat different to dramatically different than those grown uh, and produced more traditionally. You know, one of the interesting things that I've found uh, as I've gotten to know different people in the industry is that producing organic and biodynamic wines can be somewhat counterintuitive. Now, several years ago, uh, I had dinner with this guy, Randy Olam. Now, Randy was in charge of wine production for the entire Jackson family wines. Now, that's Kendall Jackson uh, wines and all the producers that they own. They're an extremely large player in the global wine industry and one of the leaders in sustainable farming. That's protecting the environment, expanding the Earth's natural resources, uh, resource base and, and, and maintaining and improving uh, soil fertility. Now, keeping Insects and pests and disease away from the grapevines with all natural products has a built-in problem. For the all natural pesticide to be effective and rest on the vines a little longer than traditional products, they need the air to be still, no wind. As the crews go through spraying the vineyards using tractors, they need to drive the tractors uh, more slowly to ensure proper coverage. Therefore, the diesel fumes from the tractors fall on the vines. In some cases, the diesel fumes are more problematic than traditional pesticides. Now aware of this issue, the Jackson family is making massive investments in electronic equipment versus diesel equipment. All this to protect the environment. This is a good solution, but often a challenging proposition for smaller vineyards, or at least for right now. What you'll find is that as time goes by, the various size uh, uh, wine producers will get better at both organic and biodynamic wine production. It will be more cost effective and they'll be producing wines that are both delicious and responsible to the environment. So have you ever been told that natural wines, organic wines, and biodynamic wines are the same? Well, that's wrong. At best, there are loose guidelines for what a natural wine can be. There are more stringent guidelines for what an organic wine can be and even more definition on biodynamic wines. All three are distinctively different. Myth busted. Boom, that's it. <laughs> Folks, remember, if you want to be certified as a nasty wine consultant, official wine myth buster, then check out the playlist. We have over a dozen episodes to choose from. Also, uh, click the link in the description and fill out the form. I look forward to having you join me on this journey. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Also, click here to check out our new online shop. We have a great lineup of wine related items that will help you get the most out of your wine experience. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.